Hello, this is Brother Poole. I'm one of the instructors for B250, and today I'm going to walk you through the Google AdWords Keyword Planner tool. Now, it's important to note that with Google AdWords, as well as the entire Internet, things are constantly, are constantly changing. Therefore, it's important to know that by the time you get ready to use this, it's very possible that a few of the things have changed. They may have moved a menu item, they may have changed what it's called. So you will need to do your own research in how to use this tool if this tutorial doesn't work exactly the way that I will be showing you today. Now, if you have questions or problems, you can always call Google AdWords customer service. Their number is 1-866 the number two and then you're going to spell out the word Google on your phone so one eight six six two Google and that will get you to Google AdWords customer service now you'll notice uh, that up here in the corner I'm using the bpool2017 at gmail.com account this is a test account that I've used so please don't email me there because I will never see that email all right, so let's dive in. You're going to log into your Google AdWords. In this case, as I mentioned, this is a new account I just created with this test email address. And so there are no campaigns created. So we're going to come up to Tools. We're going to click on Tools. We're going to come down to the Keyword Planner. We're going to select that here. And again, it takes just a moment uh, to load everything. All right, so once we're here, in this case, when you're looking for new keywords, we're going to click on search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. Now, what we're going to do is let's pretend that we sell drums. So I'm going to type in the word drum here. Um, you can set up targeting. So if you're not in the United States, you can go ahead up here and select uh, the country you're in. If you are in the United States, you will do the same thing, except I will type in the United States. Oops. I can't spell this morning. United States. There we go. <clears throat> and so now we'll be looking in the United States. Click on Save. You'll see United States, your language. If you're in another country and you're going to be doing your website in another language, just change that to the language of your uh, website that of where you're located um, so that your your keyword searches and your results here match what you're going to do all right and then you can kind of just leave the rest of this as it is and then click get ideas now what's going to happen here is it's going to show up here the word drum which is what i requested and it's going to show that in whatever keywords you put up here is going to show in this first section and then it's going to give you suggestions down below now, Google recently changed something, and so you'll see the average monthly search, as it says for drum, is 100,000 to a million per month. That is wrong. That is not correct. You cannot use those values for this class because we need much more accurate numbers. So I'm going to show you how to find those. Now, the reason that's happening is Google recently made a change so that unless you are you have been running an account and paid significant amount of money then they will show you the actual numbers here uh, but currently they don't now there is a workaround I don't know how long this workaround will work but it does work today and so what we're going to do first off is we're going to add these keywords that we want to our plan so drum, we want drum, so I'm going to come over, I'm going to add that one to my plan. And then I want to say, just for the sake of this one, we're going to pick uh, four other ones. So I sell drum sets, so we'll select drum sets. Now one of the things you may want to do is select set this so that uh, by clicking here, it's going to give you the highest traffic keywords first, and then on down. But as I look here, I don't sell music and guitars. I do sell drum kits. So I'm going to go ahead and select drum kits. Um, I don't sell those. Let's say that I sell cymbals. So I'm going to select cymbal. And I sell snare drums. So I'm going to say snare drums. Okay. 
So now it's added those to my plan. So now I'm going to click on Review Plan. This is going to take me to this page. When I'm here, it's important now that I need to click on the Keyword tab. And that's going to give me my, it's going to separate my results by keywords. Now, the first thing I need to do, well, the second thing I need to do after that is I need to enter a bid. Now, for, for the research that you're going to be doing, just go ahead and hit a bid of $1 and then just click out of it. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to load or was supposed to load. So, let's try this again. Let's go ahead and says there was a problem getting traffic. We're going to click try again. All right. There it shows up. See, you never know what's going to happen. But by clicking Try Again now, it's given me all my numbers. These are the numbers I want to use. So what it's giving me is, a, is the number of impressions for each one of these. Now, you'll notice it says the number of impressions. And in this case, it's impressions per day, a daily forecast. It's telling me that the impressions for drum is roughly... Uh, 1500 per day. Now remember, it told me before 100,000 per or a million per month. You can see it's nowhere near that. So here's the numbers you actually need to use. Now, to make it kind of simple, an easy way to do this now is come up here and click the download button. When you click download, you can make sure, and if you need to pause the video now to look at it, you can. But you want to make sure that these are the settings that are set. Now, by default, they will be. So you can click Download and click Save File. And then come down here. Now, again, if you're on a Mac, things may be slightly different. This is on a PC. Um, so then what I'm going to do is this opens up Google or Excel. So what I'm going to do is a trick you can do it. Just click into it anyways, anywhere. Hit Control A and probably Command A on a Mac. You're going to do that uh, and select everything in the sheet. Then you come up on any of these lines between two columns up in the top and just double click. That will automatically adjust the width of every column to match the content in that column. Now, you're going to be looking here for only three main columns initially. Now, you'll want to eventually look at more of these, but let's show what we're going to look at. First thing is you're going to want to look at the keyword uh, column. So I'm going to highlight this in yellow just so it makes it easy for us to look at. Now, you're not going to submit this sheet for any assignment. This is research, and this is going to give you the data you need to then create the right sheets for the assignments. So do not submit this sheet for any of your assignments because that's not correct. All right, so now we need the keyword. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to uh, estimated impressions. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to highlight those. And we're going to come over here to estimated cost. Um, because I believe, now we're going to say estimated cost. Now, I just want to show you, though. So here's our estimated cost. If we wanted to know about how much cost per click we can expect to spend, possibly, there's, there's that column. If we want to know what position we would be in, there's that column. If we want to know how much competition there is, because you need to know that, that's going to be this column. Now, you'll notice, just so you know, the closer it is to zero, the less competition there is. The closer there is to one, the more competition there is. So you can see, like, for the word snare drum, there's high competition. But for the word uh, symbol, there's not as much competition. So that's how you're going to figure that out. Now, what you could do, just to make it easy again, is you could come over, because it gives you all these extra rows that you don't need. So you can highlight those right click and just select uh, delete and now that kind of gets away again you don't have to I just do that to make it easier for me to use now again this is purely for research you're not going to submit this this is just getting you the data that you need now let's look at this and you'll see now why I did it this way 
Again, for Drum, it told me I could expect 100,000 to a million searches per month. In fact, it's showing only impressions as 1,520. Now, I do want to make this point. There is a difference between searches and impressions. Searches are how many times that keyword is searched on. Impression means that your ad actually showed up for that search. Now, your ad will not show up for every search. So, because of that, these numbers would be, of course, different. However, the difference of saying 100,000 to a million searches and you're only going to show up the maximum you could only show up if you had unlimited budget is 1,500 a day, that clearly is off. So for now, um, until Google changes things, we're going to use impressions instead of searches because we can't get the correct number of searches, but we can get impressions. Now remember, this is per day, so we need to change that so it's per month. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply highlight, um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one, right click, and say insert. Um, now, I don't need this column, so I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to delete that header. So that gives me three new columns. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to say here, this is again for research, you're not submitting this. This is so you can get the right information. I'm going to type in impressions-monthly. I'm going to type in cost-monthly. And I'm going to type in, let's say, the rest of that actually is, is it. That's all I need is those two here on a monthly scale. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the equal sign. I'm going to come over to impressions, and I'm going to click that. And I'm going to say take that, and I'm going to times that by 30.2. Now 30.2 is technically on average about how many days there are in a month if you average out the entire uh, year. So we're going to take 30.2 and now that gives me my monthly. Now all I have to do is click and drag that down and that's going to automatically adjust it so it takes all the rest of them and now I can just click and drag that over and that's going to give me my monthly numbers. Now, if I want to make it easy, I'm going to put a comma in here. I'm going to get rid of the decimal points the other way. And there are some good numbers. So this is telling me, and if I want, I can come down here and say the dollar signs. Again, this is for your research, whatever makes it easy for you. So now you've got your monthly impressions and your cost. Now, and you'll learn all of this, um, your average cost per click is not going to change. So you're not going to times your average month cost per click times 30 because that's per click. That's not a daily number. That's not based on time. So you're not going to change that. Again, with position, same thing. You're not going to times that by 30.2. Those are going to remain consistent. Same thing with competition. So the only thing really here that we're timesing by 30.2 to get monthly numbers is our impressions and our monthly cost and our, and our daily costs. So that's how you're going to use this keyword tool to get uh, different keywords, to find different keywords, as well as to find the actual competition being used for those keywords that you can kind of expect, and the estimated monthly impressions. Now, if we come over, we can highlight those if we wish, and we could, we could actually remove the highlight here. We're just going to say no fill. Again, just so that helps us so that we make sure when we're doing our research that we use the right numbers. So we now have our monthly impressions, our monthly cost, our estimated average cost per click, our estimated average position, um, and our estimated competition. Those are the main ones you're going to be using for this course. Now, you may use some of the others, but this gives you a general idea of what you can do with the Keyword Planner tool. Again, this is meant to be a launching point, a research point, for you to begin your research into what you need for this class and your different assignments. Again, 
if something comes up and something changes and you can't figure out exactly some aspect of this, you can call Google at 866 to Google. Now it's important to know that Google, the representatives there, may try to get you to set up your campaigns first, to put in your domain name, to set up your billing, to get, get campaigns going, and you just need to explain that initially that you will, and initially though you just need to do research. And so you're trying to do your research, and at that point then they'll understand and they'll help you with this. All right, well, welcome to class. This is exciting. Uh, I think you'll enjoy this. If you have any questions, again, call Google, and remember, you can always reach out to your instructors uh, by posting on the questions and comments board or by emailing them directly if it's a personal um, related question. All right, thanks so much.